Right, it is a Tuesday night and I am back at my place. There's the shed, there's the cattle. And I've just bought up our most recent purchase. So here it is. No, it's not the L200, but it's this. Look at this. We have ourselves a tipsy bin. All the way from Ireland. I've been trying to get one of these for a long time, running into importing issues and various things like that, um, needing various ERI numbers and VAT numbers and whatever. Uh, and I've eventually got myself one through a company called RW Agri. Um, so a big shout out to those guys. For you guys that don't know what a tipsy bin is, it's basically a feed bin. Um, you can live outside, it's weatherproof. It's got pallet forks, marks underneath there and there, so you can move it around um, if you want to take it out to a field or whatever. It's absolutely ideal for that. And it's sort of the perfect size for what we want. Obviously, we've only got nine cattle. Um, got no way of storing feed here, really. All the space in there is taken up by the tractors and hay and straw. Machinery's all in here. Um, so this is perfect for what we want. Want to buy a bit of feed, keep it outside. Um, so yeah, it's not actually very heavy at all. I'm going to cut these ties and lift it off by hand. Now, people will say we don't need to buy feed to feed these Devons. Um, and to be honest, we probably don't. But the cattle that we want to have next year, we probably will have to be feeding. Um, so I'm just trying to do stuff ahead of time whilst I have the financial capability to do so. Um, it's also quite helpful for our um, financial year to do it this financial year, if that makes sense. So that's what we're doing. These guys, I'm just checking on them. Got enough feed anyway, they're happy. We've got a heifer back there. It looks like it's sulking. I'm just going to go over and make sure that's all right. Um, and yeah, we're going to get that off. She's absolutely fine. She's just being moody. Um, these ones have all come to see me. But anyway, let's cut the ties and get that off. Everyone's best friend, the pocket knife. My wife is calling me. All right. All right, where are you? Wife lady is here. How heavy is this? Oh, dreamy. seen at the beginning of this video the tipsy bin which is there I'm well happy with that bin um, I also need to buy some feed to go in it so recommendations please for <coughs> I'm guessing I want some form of growers pellets or growers cake put these calves on I probably don't really need to put them on anything to be honest but um, my plan is to plan is to turn them out and not bring them back in so I want to sell them either as finished all the stores before next winter and to do so I think I'm gonna to have to feed them. Um, there's a couple of smaller ones, one heifer and one steer especially that will want feeding so I might as well feed the whole lot is what I'm thinking. So what do you guys think I should be feeding them? Do I need to feed them something different inside as to outside or can we get away with one pellet all the time? That's half the reason for buying that tipsy bin was so that um, it could be in the field outside with them and then just gotta leave a bucket in it whenever we go and see them a bucket of cake in a trough beside them. So that was my plan, that was my thinking behind doing it. Anyone that's got any recommendations for what kind of uh, feed to be giving them, get down in the comments. Cheers, look boss lady, you're gonna have to get out of the way. Let's just keep driving her. See if she gets the hint. I think she got the hint. Grab this bucket back, back up a bit. Put the bucket down. Now we've got to do shoveling. Now do I get out and help or do I pretend that I'm busy looking at something important in here? What do you think? <laughs> I 
I was doing important work in the tractor that you can only do from the cab. What's happened to my fork? Right, let's go give her a hand. What are you doing? Like the taste of the wheels. These guys have kept themselves pretty clean. Uh, there's been one bullying next door, so they're not quite so clean. What are you doing? The size of that cab. Oh. All the faces. She's rubbing her head on it. Oh, yes, she has. Get back! Get back in there! Good girl! <laughs> They're getting everywhere. Cow coming out. Hello, lady. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Yeah, but you make you're scaring this one. <laughs> Better take two. Over again. Oh, oh. Oh, Friday now, bank holiday. Okay. Is that a triple timer at work or a double timer? A double timer. It does when you're there for as long as I was before. Yeah. <laughs> She's there again. <laughs> hey. That's the big one. Hey! Hey, Pud! Do you want me to get in farming back? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got my eye on that one. Oh, there you go. Is it unrolling? Yeah. Beautifully. Crawford makes this look easy. It's only beds of all these cows. Yeah. 
Yeah. What, by hand? And you've got hundred of them. Yeah. And he does it all by hand every day with a hundred cows. Yeah, he puts like four or five bales out. Wow. I mean, it's yeah. straw. Yeah. These are a bit heavier than straw. Well, that's encouraging that uh, even the big boys do it the old fashioned way. In the next few days. <laughs> He's trying to get off. Where are you going? Right, one more bale. I'll find you some plastic. A nice easy straw one. Now we've got a 24 mil spanner. Right, last thing we're going to do today is fit this new bumper guard from AgriGuards, Tom Lee Engineering. To do so, I need to take off my tow wall. So 24 mil spanner. I don't think it was going to be that loud. Oh, it's noisy. Lock nuts. Right. Oh. There's the tow ball. Now I need a very little spanner. So we're going to take this off and put this on in its place. You see? It'll keep it away from the uh, tow bar a little bit. So what's that? That looks like a. I think you just clean it a bit as well. Clean it? Yeah, like if it's dirty in the middle, won't it like go rusty or something? I clean that. Oh well. It's debatable. Right, so it is bigger than a 7mm socket and smaller than a 9, so I'm hoping it's an 8. It is indeed an 8. Phil said we've got to get one of these made for his discovery. What's it going to have on it? Back my place. <laughs> Is that when it's fixed? When it's fixed, yeah. <laughs> Phil's bought a Discovery, and on his maiden voyage, the turbo's blown up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great first road trip. Are those like, holes the same size? So those holes go... I might have to adjust the end. The other black bit that came off, where does that go? Hang on a minute. That bit? Mm. That was like a spacer in the middle, wasn't it? There's some top quality content. <laughs> so when did this get delivered? Yesterday? It's got delivered the uh, day before yesterday. Put these nuts up as much as I can. My fingers, and I'll put the socket on them. My hands are too big, cumbersome. Well, that thing looks quite big to be tightening it, doesn't it? Yeah, I need a little spanner really, but I haven't got one. Well, I have got one, I just can't be bothered to go and get it. Abby's helping me on the camera because I forgot my GoPro. So I'm really good at doing that at the moment. I'm being the camera stand. <laughs> the tripod. Right. <laughs> now we need everyone's best friend's pocket knife. And without cutting the... Well, have you got another cable tie? Yeah. Ah. Don't do it like that. So that... Josh, it's look, dirty on the end. It's going to go like that. Oh, it's just mud. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? It's a lot further out, isn't it? Yeah, keeps it away. What goes on first, though? Surely that goes behind? Okay, no? Like that. Okay. Like that, like that. So without getting it dirty, because Abby will moan at me. Get the bolts in it. Well, you've got dirty hands on it anyway. To be fair, you just need to clean your whole truck. You can clean my car while you're at it. Right. Don't want to scratch it because it's nice and new. Just get the nut on. I mean, if I can install this, anyone can install it. We all know how much I love DIY, don't we, do? Yep. Absolutely terrible at it. Thank you. <laughs> right. Oh, wet knee. We have dogger's knee. 
24 mil spanner, 24 mil socket, spanner came off. It's not done up tight yet. It's got a light on it, huh? It's got a little torch. It's like my Hoover. Your Hoover does have a torch. Yeah, my Hoover does have a light. Better. Can't see what I'm doing. Sure. Can we give it some more ugga duggers for good luck? Do you reckon it's on tight enough? Yeah, let's do, let's do some more. And this is what our bank holidays consisted of. What else are you going to do on Good Friday? <laughs> now that should be proper. The only thing I'm thinking is should I put that plate in there as well to keep the ball off a bit so that whatever you put on there doesn't catch the back of there. But I think there's enough space. We'll find out when you go to load something up, yeah, won't you? Yeah, I mean, we were. That's on there, so I just need another cable tie. Cable time. <laughs> Cut. Cable tie is not long. Cable tie attempt two. That one better. No, this one's the right size. Yeah. You've got fingerprints all over that thing. Good work, boys. And he says we've got fingerprints on it, so let's. There. Look at that. Can you take a picture of me? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, we have now fitted our new tow bar plate on the back there. Looks really, really smart. Massive thank you to Tom at AgriGuards for sending that to me. It's a new project that they're doing. Um, if you want to know more about them, I will put their website link down in the description. Um, they're also on Facebook, so if you want to go and look up AgriGuards, uh, I'm sure there's something on their website, on their page, that will uh, tickle your fancy. They do all sorts of stuff, uh, mirror guards for tractors, uh, loads of bits and pieces like that. Important to say that they can cut whatever you want into the plate as well. So we've got JM Farming, you can have a logo or whatever writing you want on there. Yeah, I think that looks really smart. So thank you very much for watching today's video. Uh, if you've liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. We're over 3,000 now, so thank you to everyone who has subbed in the last week. Got us over that milestone. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on another video soon. Cheerio.